What is going on, Stallions? Come on in here, join me. I've been hearing a lot in the gaming community about people that own a powerful GPU, whether it's in a desktop or a laptop, not even really wanting to game or stream anymore because they feel like every hour that they're not actively crypto mining, they're losing out on profit. From somebody that owns a gaming YouTube channel and likes to game, stream, and 4K video edit with his graphics card, but has also been crypto mining for over two years and understands the profitability of the 30 series cards. I can see both arguments, but I have a pretty strong opinion about this topic. And I wanna give you guys my kind of loophole or workaround where you can still be profitable and enjoy your actual graphics card. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, on the desk behind me, there's an Alienware Aurora R11 with a 3080 in it. I have been crypto mining for about two years now with my previous gaming PC and then also with this one here. And obviously I appreciate the profitability that, that brings and whatnot, even after my electrical costs with my 3080, I'm averaging about between eight and $11 a day, generally in like the nine to $10 range uh, per day after my electrical costs. However, I'm an avid gamer. I have a gaming YouTube channel. Obviously I wanna be able to stream and I have to 4K video edit to get these videos out. So, I, I have to strike a fine balance between do I want to mine with my 3080 as it is one of the most lucrative cards out there besides like a 3090, which is a $1,500 card. It's pretty much more or less the most lucrative card out there right now. Not more or less. It is like the 3090 and the 3080 are the two powerhouses right now when it comes to both gaming and also mining. And, you know, the 3080 is more of a consumer card at $700. The, the $1,500 3090 is more of a workstation card. So if you're doing some kind of deep learning or some kind of uh, 4K video editing or 8K video editing, uh, you're doing some kind of graphic design, some CAD, computer-aided design, something like that. Uh, but you can game and mine with it and it's very, very powerful. But here's what I'm gonna say about that. You are already going to make enough of your profits when you are not gonna be using your, P your PC period. So for me, when I'm sleeping and when I'm at work during the weekdays, she is mining because I would not be there to actually use my PC anyway. And then when I jump on my PC, but I'm just doing some very, very light web browsing, maybe watching a YouTube video, typing a paper for school or something like that, it's still mining. Granted, I have to sit here and deal with the white noise from the fans being, you know, under 100% load and the fans are blaring, but it's worth it. But when I need to do some 4K video editing, gaming, streaming, I immediately shut down my miner and start using it for its dedicated purpose for me, which is a gaming card. Now your profits are based on a 24 hour window. However, there's probably about 16 hours in the day that you're either sleeping or not using your PC because you're at work or you're spending time with family or something like that. In which case, use it as a dedicated rig. That's two thirds of the 24 hour day right there but then give yourself time to actually use your graphics cards. Now, unless you are you bought one of these cards to mine with, <laughs> you slapped it in an open, an open chassis mining rig and that's its purpose, then obviously you're just gonna be mining with it. But if you're a gamer, but you also want your PC to eventually pay for itself, get an ROI or return on your investment by mining with your 3080 or 3090 or shoot, even 3060, 3060 Ti or 3070, any of the 30 series cards are good. Shoot, even AMD's, um, even AMD's like 6800 and 6900 XT, those are little powerhouses too. They're not, they're not on the same level, but they're still good. I still love you. I just feel like for any of these graphics cards, you want to make sure you're actually getting enjoyment out of it. Now, granted, this is not a flex or anything like that. So please, nobody get offended. I know these are like the three hardest consumer electronics goods to get a hold of right now, but I do have a PS5 and an Xbox Series S in the inter in the entertainment center in the front room in there. If I just want to get a gaming fix, and for some reason, profitability's through the roof where, you know, it's $20 a day to be mining. I might just go play on my PS5 or something like that in the living room. But if you don't have that, and this is your sole means for for uh, electronic consumer enjoyment, your own, it's your only gamer, gaming goodie, so to speak. Use it for that. You know what I mean? Mine when you're sleeping at school or at work and you're not going to be using it, period. But when you want to use it, and like I said, you can do some basic web browsing and whatnot, uh, while still mining, but as soon as you try and launch a game or something, your frames per second are gonna be at like 20 because 
all your GPU performance is going into that miner. Same thing if you try and video edit, if I launch Adobe and try and bring in some clips or something, it, it, it won't even render them. So um, that's, that's when I'm actually gonna use my card for what it is, you know, a consumer grade card. But again, so I think I, I pretty much answered the question. I don't wanna keep rambling on or saying the same thing over and over, rewording it to extend the view time on the video to get it to that 10 minute mark or anything like that. Actually use it, get some use out of your card. But when you're not gonna be using your PC period, instead of just having it sit there idle, run a very, very easy user interface, like nice hash quick miner. You basically just press go, it does all the benchmarks for you, it selects what crypto and what algorithm to use that's the most profitable for you. You can even type in your electrical costs, like for me, uh, it's, about, it's about 10 cents per kilowatt hour here. Um, and it calculates all that for you and it will stop mining if for some reason your electrical cost is higher than your profitability, uh, which would only be the case if you're on like an older PC or laptop to where like you're just pushing the thres threshold of being profitable, it won't mine for you. Not bad. <laughs> How about you get your own bottle? But yeah, use your damn graphics cards, boys. Don't just let it, you know, if you're not a, a full-time miner with a, a, you know, several rigs with a mining farm and solar panels on the roof, you're just an average dude or chick, use your graphics card to game with. And when you're not using your PC, then mine with it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, it was informative or entertaining for you, smack in that like button as the YouTubers like to say, go ahead and tally whack it, give it a Dutch rudder and the friendly reach around. That will help to grow my channel as it helps the video get seen by more people. It kind of ticks the YouTube algorithm, tickles the prostate on it and helps it to get uh, more exposure. And we, we love to expose ourselves on this channel, guys. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a lot of news in the gaming industry and community as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing and apparently a lot of cryptocurrency stuff as well. All right, guys, peace.